I Rowan doesn't am, TikTok. I'm out of him now, shame, isn't it? <laughs> just as well, I think, just as well. On all 14 counts of dangerous driving, the destruction of priceless artwork, oh. arson. Ah. Do you have anything to say before you're taken down? You see, there was this bee. Pleasure to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you. I love the series. And Good, I love okay. each episode. Well, from what I've watched, it was only 10 minutes. That's the perfect yes. binge. Series, yes, yes. Right? Well, if you want to, you know, binge for only ten minutes, yeah. yes, yeah, then it's perfect. It and the, feel and less the good guilty. thing, and the good thing is, you can binge the whole show in an hour and forty now, minutes. Literally, You'd, yeah, rather than three days, literally. like some Netflix series. Like take. some yeah, Netflix yeah, series. Yeah. But I loved it so, so, so much. And good, good. I have to say, if you were Trevor and you were experiencing what he was experiencing that chaos, how yeah. would you handle the situation? Because personally, yeah. I would have just left. Like the minute the statue broke, I would have been like, guys. Mm. It's, I've had enough. <laughs> well, I wouldn't, but um, I don't know what, what I've done. No, I think I would have tried to mend the statue. Um, mm. I think, but, but then I wouldn't have been so worried about the fact that there was a bee in the house. You see, see some people. Oh, you would. I you have see. A phobia, oh, well, that's deep phobia. Oh dear. Oh, well, so in that case, well, in that case, you. <laughs> Okay, well, in that case, you would identify with Trevor's situation yeah, more than most. You'd think that his behaviour was probably quite reasonable yeah. uh, towards the bee because you'd think the bee has to be got out. That's the thing what is, think. as soon as I would hear the bee, I would leave the house. I oh, I see. Oh, oh, be that way around. I've, I've okay. left the, the building. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you just have to camp outside. And, Basically. Uh, and you could house sit from, you know, from outside. No, I've quit the job. House, no more house sit. I say quit the job. Yeah, <laughs> but on holiday, you can't quit the job. I'm pretty, you're not allowed to do that. I would have, um, yeah, I would have been more tolerant of the bee. You wouldn't. No. But I would have been very tolerant of the bee. I said bee in the house. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> mm. So in the house, we also saw this thing of gesture automation. I mean, yes. I had no idea that was a thing. Yes, I'm afraid it is. For taps yeah, and yeah, liquid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. for you, what's the most bizarre thing that you've ever seen in another celebrity's house? In another celebrity's house? I don't think I've ever been in another celebrity's house. No, I'm sure you have. <laughs> uh, or none that I remember. Yeah, I've never come across anything as annoying gesture as the automation. things in. Yeah, I mean, oh. yeah, 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 exactly. But we wanted to create that because we wanted to put our hero, you know, Trevor, mm -hmm. in as alien an environment as yeah. we could yeah. and so we thought if we have all these gizmos and, and things that you can only open if you yeah. know how to open them that would increase his his sense of isolation Definitely. and his sense of panic uh, uh, so yeah it, it was it was a device I, I hate those things you know I don't understand why if you've got a hot tap and a cold tap that the hot top can't have Literally. a little red ring on it, and, uh, and the and the cold have a little blue, blue ring, blue. and then we sense. know. But yeah. this idea of not indicating for d yeah. d design ethical reasons is Frustrate. pretty frustrating. It's just I don't know. Literally, it, it's pretty frustrating. Well, but if you could house sit for another celebrity, who would you right. pick? I can't, I can't. I can't think. I can't. You don't think care of too much. No, no. Like, I, I wouldn't. Just like your own house. I would. Yeah, exactly. I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't be a house sitter. I wouldn't be a house sitter. Same. I, I think <laughs> too it's. Much. A, I think it's a terrible job. Um, I mean, it sounds easy, and of course it's, it is easy in theory. You just sit around. In this series, yeah, not. exactly. This this series should, you know, put off any uh, yeah, job prospective house sitters from considering it as a career. What? Now in the series, you've got daughter Maddie, yes. and Trevor found out that Gen Zs they don't voicemail, and it's true yes. because I don't remember the last time I sent a voicemail. Okay, so yeah. what was what's something else that you find crazy about Gen Zs? And I'm not one of them, just so you know. I'm okay. I've just reached uh, a cusp. <laughs> I um I don't know I I. I don't have a lot of dealings with Gen Zs, um, so yeah, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't think of anything. Yeah. I can't think of anything. No, sorry, I can't. But think the Gen of Zs love you. You're all over uh, TikTok. Uh, oh right. Oh well, that's what you see. Did you I, know that? I, see, I didn't know that. Yeah, and not being a TikTok devotee. Yeah. Uh, Rowan doesn't I'm, TikTok. I'm out of no shame, isn't it? <laughs> Just as well, I think, just as well. Well, I'm pleased to know, no, no, all Gen Z are absolutely lovely and they all do lovely things. They are lovely. Why do you think they resonate with you and Mr Bean so much? Well, I don't know. Well, I guess they've probably seen quite a lot of the stuff that I've done and Mr Bean's, you know, stuff from the past. Um, and, uh, and, yeah, Mr. Bean, and visual comedy generally, and of course, you know, Man vs. B is largely visual. There's some dialogue in the first episode, some dialogue in the last episode, but most of it is just, you know, my character, Trevor, stuck in a house with a bee, and, uh, and that, and I think, I, I don't know, I suppose most of what I've done it's just about humanity, isn't it? It's just mm. about human behavior. Yeah. It's just how people 
behave when put in certain situations. situations. And I think, and it doesn't matter what age you are in order to identify with that. You know, yeah. you, you can be six year olds or, or 16 or 60. There's something about the, just seeing a human being, you know, without words, without yeah. dialogue. You know, dialogue tends to be what divides uh, generations. Yeah. It's how they talk or, or what they say. Yeah. And you know, the way that they communicate with each other verbally. But we, we are, I suppose, an increasingly, you know, visually mm. communicative like, uh, species, civilization like yeah, that actually, we, we, you know, you know, the, it used to be the word, yeah. you know, for people who are older. But now I think there's so much. Well, just you know, just the the video exchange, yeah, the amount of definitely. exchange of video information. I mean, there are, there are sometimes words in there, but they certainly don't have to be in there. Yeah. Oh. Is everything all right? Fine, fine. I think people also like you so much and will like Man vs B and Trevor. It's just, it's so relatable, like watching yeah, the scenes. Yeah, that's I'm what like, I meant to say. I've had days where Trevor is living my reality, when it's okay. just problem after problem. Uh, problem after, after problem. problem. Oh dear, dear, dear. Like, well, it's just too relatable. Do you relate funny. as well? Uh, yeah, well, I do. Well, that's what we tried to do. We yeah. tried to create something that was uh, relatable, that was believable, you know, where you think, oh, I've been, I've been too in that situation. Or, or, even if you haven't been in that situation, you remember someone who was, was. or you can imagine yeah. if you were a slightly different personality, you <laughs> would react like that. Yeah. You, you know, and that's something, because it's quite a complicated story visually that we're trying to tell over uh, effectively an hour and 40 minutes, these nine episodes. Um, and you've got, to, we wanted it always to be logical and believable how Trevor gets from one situation to the Trevor. next and because it, it's an escalation yeah. as you may know it starts quiet and mild and then it gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse, worse, and, worse, uh, and, worse. and it ends up really in quite a, <laughs> quite a weird place um, because he's well, he becomes a little bit nuts, you know. That's what to it. As mm -hmm. one should and would in yeah, yeah, that situation. Yeah, well, you certainly would if, the, if there was a bee around. I can't even remember. No, I would have left the house. Like you I left said, the house. I'm okay, you wouldn't have been there. Also, so Trevor's never house it before. Yeah. And so, do you remember your first ever day on the job as an actor? Like, this is Trevor's first ever day on the job as a house sitter. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, what my first day? Do you ever, uh, do like, go back to the yeah, archives know, back in yeah, the day? Know, do you remember your first know. day ever on set? your first job and what was it no well exactly you see I mean the problem is when you create your own jobs I you know that you haven't you know gone along to an audition and mm -hmm. become an actor which I never did I just sort of you know created my own stories with others uh, so I sort of cast myself um, in you know in, in, in comedy sketches mm -hmm. you know rather than anything else I suppose you know it was the black Anna the first sort of proper character long-running character that I ever played um, but yeah, all you all you've got to do is be, you know, confident that you know what you're doing, yeah. isn't it? Which is, and of course I, you know, whereas Trevor gets the job of a house sitter when, and, but, but he's only just got it. You know, yeah. he 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 didn't know he was going to be a house sitter. Yeah. Whereas I I knew I was going to be an actor for at least, you know, a few years yeah. prior to actually doing it. Yeah. Uh, so, so that's the that, that's the advantage yeah. I had over Trevor. And Trevor Whereas didn't Trevor read the is manual. just is just dropped into it. And know. he didn't read the manual. And, and he did <laughs> well you didn't get a chance to read the manual. <laughs> he could read the manual. <laughs> but that's all the time I have. Thank yeah, you yeah, so yeah. Much. Well thank you so much.